or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. <laughs> or to take arms against the sea of troubles. And by opposing end them. To die. To die. To sleep. Just a minute. Just a minute. Hold on a sec. Yes. Uh, it's about to, to be. Kindly hold your home rampaging horses. You're maybe a little precipitous. Wow. To the best of my knowledge, wow isn't an actual word. You know, I love your vocabulary. You want a tic tac? Oh, thank you. Oh. You know, you remember when you used the word had geography in class? I don't really. That's so cool. It's like, geez. It's like, gee, 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 gee. I keep meaning to look it up. Professor, what exactly does it mean? Hi, geography? Hi, geography. Sure. Well, um, the first meaning you know, as opposed to the popular meaning from us. All right. From the Greek, hagia. Wow. Um, Elizabeth, would you please stop saying wow? I'm not Elizabeth. You're not? Nope. I'm terribly sorry. No problem. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you your name. Wait, you don't... You don't know who I am? Actually, I know perfectly well who you are. I've just misplaced your name. Because I've been in three of your acting classes. Of course. And then we had an affair. <laughs> yeah. Just joking. <laughs> What's your name? Alan. Right. I used to slouch in the front row wearing a red yes, dress. Yes, of course. You're holding a shoe. Yes. Is it a hobby? Pew. What can I do for you this morning? Yeah, we really didn't have an affair. Yes, I know that. Well, these are your office hours, right? Yes, they are. So can I come into your office? I'm terribly sorry, but you're already in my office. Wow. Everything looks so Guatemalan. <laughs> Guatemalan. That's from Africa. Please sit down. Okay. May I go to this? Why do you ask? I ask, Evan, because the university asks us to ask so that you may choose your necessary degree of privacy. And also because. <laughs> Sex. Well. But you could wrench me out of this chair into a fiery, throbbing, pulsating kiss. If you don't mind. And then, <sighs> depending on your ability to read people, that could destroy your career, kid. <gasps> oh, come on. Lighten up, Professor. It's a joke. Let's risk it. What? Closing the door. I'll sign a release. I think I would prefer you to keep the door open. I'd actually be more comfortable. Just... <laughs> All right. Wow, that is so bleachingly cool. Excuse me? You're raising a cool ah, 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 Yes, yes, I am. Hey, hey, don't get comical. edgy. No, no it's, it's actually, it's humanizing. It's actually way cute. I am reading it. No, 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 it. not knowing is fabulous. Is the reason is probably commonplace. Very nicely put. You have no idea what hagiography means, do you? Um, why? What do I do? Why? Why? We are, I fear, drifting outside of the confines of the teacher-student relationship, which I believe is meant to be one of mutual respect. But and the reason that I, I, I heard it before, I want, I could, ah! should, should. and that the seeking and the giving, which is necessary for your growth as an actress, without how can I say this, toppling over into the inappropriately personal or. Ah, ah, Wait! Wait! Transgressing boundaries each of us may need. And so I would prefer to think of this as a meeting. A meeting. 
rather than a relationship, relationship. and more or less proceed on those terms. Yeah, 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 the terms. Absolutely. Same, same. Every day. Every day. Yes, that I just mentioned. The terms. Do you understand what I'm saying, Elizabeth? Ellen. Ellen. She was right. What? <laughs> hey, okay. We can have a meeting. Most excellent. But. Oh, dear. So it says in the student admissions guidebook that one of the advantages of a costly private college is the relationships that you develop with your professors. But hey, I don't want to make you feel interpersonally uncomfortable. So should I sit further away? Oh, oh there I go. Are you teasing me, Ellen? Wow, that's provocative. What is it you want? You know, I really do think it's neat you're reading a comic book. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, what I want. Yes. So this is my last year. Yes. It's my last quarter, actually, and I could take one more acting course, and you, I believe, are teaching the only advanced acting. Uh, say no more. Of what course you can take the class. No, 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 no. There's a dilemma. Uh -huh. Okay. See, I saw you play Hamlet at uh -huh. Shakespeare in the Dome. It was, oh, it was an extraordinary well, thank experience. thank you. Because I'd never seen one of my acting teachers act before. Well, they like to continue with our professional You work, were not you? very good, like, at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, bad. Like, bad. <laughs> 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 I don't need to listen to this. <laughs> no, wait, wait, let me, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Good idea. Okay. <laughs> what worked about what you did was this. You were very confident and stage-worthy. You had good timing, nice energy. You handled the Polonius and the Grave Digger scenes in a very amusing style. Uh, but at the heart of the material, you know, with Ophelia and Claudius and Gertrude, it was, well, pretty thin and sort of immune to the very stuff that you teach. Am I ringing any bells? Hum. Because what I want to know in our meeting is do you really feel that a bad actor can be a useful acting teacher? Because I, I respect your acting oh. theories, though I suppose most of that is received knowledge. <laughs> what I want to know, do you really think that you can see and assist what I do if you are blind to your own problems? I ask that with all respect as my mentor. I see. Ellen? Yep. There are many acting teachers who do not act! Yeah, absolutely. I know that. Plenty of great teachers who don't act. But are there great teachers who act badly? Um. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure I'm being clear. Oh, it's clear, yes. Look, young lady, I got a really rave, ravishing review. Did you know that? Yeah, you always said that she's an idiot. I did not. Yeah, see? Mm. I knew that this was going to get edgy. Dude, you got to understand, this is my last acting class. I mean, I don't absolutely have to have it. I can always pursue my interest in 19th century novels of sensation. What was wrong with my scenes with Ophelia? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, God. All right, where to start? Kind of emotionally opaque. <gasps> Never really clear if you loved her and just thought that she was plotting against you or that you were crazy. Plain old never cared or what. It just seemed like you were generally upset. So when you got so bent out of shape at Ophelia's grave, it was totally unsupported and just kind of sucky. Kind of sucky? Yes. Oh. You always say unspecific, phony emotion. Unexamined, straight from the shoulder. I don't think you did the work. I did the work. This is my third Hamlet, by the way. I have 800 pages of notes on this part. I studied in England, Elizabeth. Ellen. I did my thesis in contemporary Danish Hamlets. I have got articles published in the Louisiana Shakespearean Quarterly and the Elizabethan Surrealist Review. And you, you, you come in here because for once, someone unimpressed with your life of privilege, spotty, uncluttered, dabbling in the arts and the conventional sorority beauty gave you less than the A that you feel is your inalienable right and then try to lay waste to my talent and my extensive experience because of your savage, uncontrollable authority problem? Not in this life, sister! Get out of my office! That's a cry for help. It's a cry for help. <laughs> you have asked me for my advice. I am going to give you my advice. Great. I sincerely do not think it would benefit you to take my class. See, I just don't think that that's the answer. 
are you all right? Your forehead is throbbing. Like, kaboom, kaboom. What is the answer? See, now I do have a couple thoughts on Oh, that. I was sure you would. Something that's going to make this a win-win situation. I'm all ears. You actually have very nice ears. Thank you. You're welcome. OK, I have a lot to learn from you, theoretically. Even if you can't do the things that you talk about, your acting is well organized, even if it is hollow. <laughs> no, it's not so much hollow as emotionally blocked. So when I do a scene, you will talk about the text without referring to my acting. And then you will do the scene. And I will point out the very things that you have said but haven't learned, improving your acting and simultaneously validating your teachings to the rest of the class. You will teach me in my class. No, you will teach you through me embodying your teachings. Double whammy! Double whammy. <laughs> you know, I, I used to be good. No, I used to be great, and then I got this block, and now it's all just bullshit. I can make you great again. You can? Yeah. Do you really think Hamlet loves Ophelia? Absolutely. And we're going to go through it line by line. Wait! Mm. Can you help me with me being emotionally blocked? Yeah, with your own words. <laughs> uh, but if you're teaching, how would I grade you? Ah, don't worry. I think I'm objective enough to do that. You know, I actually looked up high geography. You did? Yeah. What does it mean? A worshipful or idealized biography. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll see you Tuesday. Go, get thee to a nunnery, go. <laughs> <laughs> I am emotionally blocked. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep we say, to end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to as a consequence.